moment that you're seeing inside the U.S. Capitol Rotunda as thousands right now are continuing to honor President George H.W. Bush. Welcome everyone here to News Now. I'm your host, Mike Page. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We're going to go right back out to D.C. right now because Fox 26 anchor Caitlin Monty is live there in D.C. that's covering every angle of this very historic moment. Uh, Caitlin, how are you? Hi, I'm good, and it's been a beautiful morning. It was cold this morning, but uh, you see there's a line behind me that has been moving very quickly. And in fact, the people who came out here early morning before work, they were able to walk right up into the Capitol Vis Visitor Center and get right in. It took about 10 minutes, and they were able to pay their respects. I went in this morning. Uh, you get, when you come out, this card, which is uh, really, I think, going to be the keepsake that a lot of people are going to cherish. It has a picture of our former president on the front. On the back, it has a list of his service in addition his education at Yale. But when you look at the fact that he served all the way until 1993, having started in the Navy in 1942, it speaks to why so many people are coming out here to pay their respects. He resonates with so many people across the different ways that you can serve our country. So right now we're looking at a couple hundred people in line. It's moving right along. Last night we had a couple thousand people in line, uh, but people are taking their time once they're in the rotunda. Uh, this is a really historic moment, of course, for so many people. And uh, from top Talking to people, we have spoken to everyone from people who said they were just walking by last night, heard the drumming of the motorcade arriving and decided to swing into line and people who say they drove 10 hours just to be here for this event. That is truly amazing. And Caitlin, what was it like when you are waiting in line and you get to go in those doors and you see the casket, you see the American flag there? What is that like? You know, it, it all seems very grand as you're heading in. You're walking into the Capitol. You see the paintings. You see the uh, the architecture of the building. You're reminded of how historic this location is. But when you walk in and you see the casket, you're very quickly reminded that this was someone's grandfather, someone's father, someone's husband. We know that he's now reunited with his beloved Barbara Pierce Bush up in heaven. Uh, and so it really hit home for if you've ever lost a family member, it started to become very personal at that point. And in fact, when I went in, I noticed it was extremely still in the room, and it turns out that uh, Secretary of Energy, former Texas Governor Rick Perry, was in there at the moment paying his respects, and you could see on his face just how much this meant to him. So to see the different ways that people were taking their time, and I've been told by some others who've been here for past events similar to this, that most of the time people walk through, they sort of you know, nod their head, pay their respects, take a moment, and then carry on, but people were standing there on the side of the rotunda just watching, just sort of absorbing the energy. And so you realize how much this meant to a lot of people, some people holding prayer cards, sharing their own prayers with the former president. So it was really interesting to see the many ways that people were taking that personal moment when they had the chance. That is so true. And behind you, we see we see the line of people there. Has it have you seen it build throughout the morning? Absolutely. This morning, there was no line. You could walk straight through the gate and head right in through security. So people were able to be in, through, and out in 20 minutes if they wanted to do it before work. Now we're starting to see the line build. I think the lunch crowds come out, and some folks are getting off work early. Yesterday, it was a very similar scene. And by last night, I want to say around 5, 6 o'clock after the motorcade arrived, the line built quickly by hundreds and hundreds of people till there were several thousand in line. Uh, and people were here all night get, just for their chance to be among the first to pay their respects. So if, if you are in D.C., you know someone in D.C., the sooner they get out here, the sooner they're going to be able to get through. But those who waited in line told me that I spoke with a woman who waited seven hours to be the first woman to go through. She said that she made friends with everyone around her. They were swapping stories of why this meant so much to them. So even the wait, I think, is turning out to be part of the experience for a lot of people. Oh, truly, uh, truly. I bet a lot of stories continue to be shared there in line. Kaylin Monte from Fox 26, thank you so much for giving us your insight and the coverage there in D.C. We really appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure. Have a great afternoon, Phoenix. You too. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. And here